Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, just wanted to bring you guys a look today at the Samsung Evo 960 NVMe SSD. I know it's a mouthful to say, uh, but it is a very small part, at least relative to the size of that name. Uh, it comes in a tiny little box. I don't know where the hell it went. There it is. So, <laughs> sorry, this is not a professional channel, it's just me. But this thing uh, comes in this little box and it literally is just a stick the size of like one of your fingers and it pops into your M.2 uh, NVMe slot on your motherboard. And uh, you know, look, looking forward to these for a while, this type of storage, I've been kind of hamstringed by the bandwidth of SATA uh, and kind of the, just the way that SATA handles data relative to NVMe. Um, a lot of advantages there. Supposedly using the NVMe interface. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, this is just an impressions video. It's not going to be a review. I will show you some numbers. Um, you know, megabytes, read and write speed, IOPS, etc. Uh, for this drive compared to my 500, 500 gigabyte Samsung Evo SATA based uh, SSD um, but I will say just my overall impressions of this drive have not really been what I expected uh, I was expecting you know with advertised read speeds of uh, six times what you can actually push through a SATA connection um, and write speeds about three times higher than that as well um, so about three gigabytes a second uh, read speeds and about a gigabyte and a half um, per second write speeds uh, advertised on this M.2 drive here. Um, I thought I'd see a lot better performance uh, relative to my Samsung SSD over SATA. Uh, it hasn't been the case though. Um, and to be fair, uh, you know, I had been previously using the SATA based SSD with what Samsung refers to as rapid mode, which is essentially just RAM caching for your SSD, so it uses a little bit of your system RAM, which I have DDR4, um, so it's very fast RAM, uh, and it just uses that as kind of a caching pool um, from your SSD, um, you know, so it has faster access to that little bit of data. Um, now that's not available on the 960 EVO uh, on this NVMe drive, so it just is pulling data directly from that uh, that memory on this stick and there is a turbo cache on this stick um, up to like 13 gigabytes I believe it is if you have enough space clear on the drive and I keep plenty of space clear on this drive about 100 gigs um, out of 250 so I'm utilizing a little bit over half of this drive and trying to keep it as fast as I can um, and still you know the read speeds the write speeds um, they do look better in synthetic benchmarks, I'm not going to lie to you, um, but they're not really that impressive even in those synthetic benchmarks. Um, and in real world performance, I got to tell you guys, um, you know, until 3D X point comes out from Intel, um, I may go ahead and keep that M.2 slot free on my motherboard for a couple of reasons. One, the performance just really isn't there. Um, you know, over and above a SATA based <coughs> SSD, at least the higher end ones like the Samsung Evo or the Samsung Pro series uh, SATA drives, um, especially if you're using rapid mode or any kind of RAM disk caching, um, you're just not going to see that much of a tangible benefit going to one of these drives, unfortunately. And secondly, uh, it will actually use and does use four of my PCI Express lanes, which I honestly cannot stand having only, you know, 20 lanes or 24 lanes, whatever it is, on my Z170 board. Um, I have a lot of different hard drives for archive storage, um, and right now I do have two SSDs. I know the one SATA-based uh, Evo and the one M.2 based NVMe Evo. So um, that has actually brought my PCI Express bandwidth on my GPU down to 8x from 16 because I'm using so many lanes for storage. So uh, that is one reason. 
And uh, like I say, the other reason is just not, it's not very, not very fast, you know, compared to what I thought it was going to be. Uh, advertised speeds, again, 6x fold, you know, reads, 3x fold writes. I thought I'd be flying along like, like you know, Kal-El, but um, it just is not the case. So I'm probably going to return this or I may sell this drive um, and keep my 500 gigabyte SATA drive as my primary in my boot drive for the time being um, until 3D X Point is available later this year. So, um, yeah, just want to let you guys know, if you're looking at one of these drives and you have a SATA-based SSD right now, I wouldn't recommend it. I know it looks very compelling. You know, the numbers uh, for synthetic benchmarks and stuff are there, and they look great. But uh, in day-to-day -day usage and application loading, etc., cetera, um, you may gain a couple of seconds, but it's not going to be anything close um, you know, to the noticeable improvement that you saw going from a mechanical hard drive um, to a NAND, you know, a flash storage based SSD, even via SATA connection. So um, that is my opinion on this. Um, one other thing to note about this NVMe drive is that um, setup is not that easy. You know, it did come with the Samsung Magician software to go ahead and clone um, all the data over, partitions over exactly as they were on my, uh, my SATA based SSD before. And uh, for whatever reason, my ASUS Z170 board did not like that clone and wouldn't boot that drive properly um, after that cloning process. So I had to actually take my other SSD out, um, the set of base drive out, put this one in there by itself, and um, you know, load Windows, point the BIOS, the UAFI to this drive, uh, load Windows on it from scratch, and let it kind of set it up. Um, you know, by itself with just this drive in there. After that, um, Windows did load, but I still, uh, in testing, had to load in the Samsung specific NVMe driver. Um, the regular Microsoft, you know, generic driver um, was just crippling for performance on this drive. So if you get one of these, make sure you go to the link uh, on samsung.com, download the specific NVMe driver from Samsung. Uh, to get this thing working a little bit faster and on another side note the intel rapid storage driver which you can or cannot load up to you um you know under windows 10 didn't help for squat either i thought maybe i'd see some improvement using the intel rapid storage um you know over and above not having it installed at all uh, and as i'll show you guys in some slides here that was not the case but um anyway guys uh, cost per dollar is still pretty high on these and um if it were me, I'd spend that money um, someplace else in your system or just get a larger capacity SATA-based SSD. Until 3D X Point comes out, which I will test again, um, that is my opinion on the M.2 slot NVMe on your motherboard. Uh, it's there. It sounds cool. It looks cool. But, um, you know, in reality, probably not worth it at this time. But anyway, guys, glad to be back. Hope you guys are doing well. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.